Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another house building video here in The Sims 4. Today we're making another tree house and I say another because I have made one in the past and I'm sure uh, it's linked down below in the description so you can click on that and watch it. If it's not linked because I've forgotten, uh, you can just go to my channel and search tree house. It will probably come up like instantly or even just go on YouTube search The Sims Supply Tree House or The Sims 4 Tree House. Might come up. I don't know. Uh, but I wanted to do another one because the other one was just for um, two Sims, I think. And I was, I think it was... Was it a single story? I don't even know. But I, I had so much fun doing it back in the day. I remember. And I wanted to give it another one a go. Like, it's just so much fun. If you haven't built, like, something like this in The Sims 4, just give it a go. It's just fun. It's just kind of silly fun. And that that's what that's what kind of this is. Now, the one annoying thing with the treehouse is if you use the wrong trees, such as the ones I have right now, because I keep changing the trees, you'll see. Uh, they don't... They just get in the way and they don't fade because because I've scaled up the trees. They're not their regular size. They don't fade away at the right points. Like if you use a smaller tree, like if the tree was like its actual size, it would fade away at sort of this distance, so it wouldn't cover the house. But with these kind of trees at this size, like I, I, I found when I was first of all when I was trying to furnish it or even just build in there, the, the trees just kept getting in the way and it's just so annoying. Um, so you'll see that I, I changed the trees quite a bit later on. Uh, I'm just trying to get the stairs to go up. I wish, I wish that we had ladders. Ladders would make this also much, much better. But uh, I'm sure we'll get them one day. And when we do, we can uh, chuck those in and be happy about it. But until then, just going to use some stairs because they, they, they look good too. Uh, so, yeah, I originally started this off as just going to be, uh, it was going to be, I don't know. It was going to be like a large sort of one level uh, treehouse. I was going to say apartment. It's not an apartment. One, uh, like a large sort of, yeah, one level uh, treehouse. And I was like, no, you know what would be really cool? A two-story treehouse. Let's get a second level in here and mix it up. So that's what we end up doing. As you can see now, I'm going through another set of trees to try and figure out how to get this to look okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I really wanted, yeah, I really wanted the tree sort of coming through the middle like that. And I think that this might actually be the final tree I use. Then I was like, hang on, why don't, why don't I try something a little bit different here? Let's try using columns and make them, make them like sort of a brown wood texture. And make them kind of look like branches. And then obviously, I mean, they're, they're never going to 100% look like branches. But like, then I put sort of trees around them. So it kind of looks like there's like actual support. Like the building isn't going to fall down. Um, I mean, of course, we could just make a 100% floating thing. We don't even need trees, really. We could just make a floating building if we really wanted to. But I didn't really want to. So I, th I thought I'd try and make it look like it... Uh, actually has support. Uh, yeah, so I'm just making a little hole there for the tree to actually grow through. Again, I could have just made it come through to the floor with no holes or anything like that, but uh, I, I always feel like it looks a little bit better when you have it, um, you know, when you actually have it going through the house like that. Mm. Let's having a quick drink. Uh, yeah, so uh, just going around doing some balconies there, I thought I, th there's no point just having like a, first of all, having like a square tree house. As you can see, I'm doing it here as well on the roof. I'm sort of just doing uh, an interesting shape just to mix it up. This is just going to be roof. That's not the second level. The second level actually is downstairs. This is actually the top level at the moment. Uh, so we actually go down a level, I think. I think it's, yeah, we go down a level underneath. I actually do... And I, I don't know when it is. It must be soon. I actually do rotate the entire house. Because I've kind of built the house facing backwards. Originally, I did want the stairs at the back. But then when I uh, when I mixed things up, I was like, hang on. And when I mixed things up, I was like, hang on. Stairs at the front would probably make more sense. Uh, because Mainly because when, I think it was when I decided to put in the, the, the mailbox and the, the bin. Uh, and I think I do it pretty soon. Because I was like, because I wanted, I wanted the mailbox up the top of the stairs. Because I thought it would be kind of cool. And then I was like... It'd be really inconvenient for like a mailman to walk onto my plot of land and up my stairs to put the mail in there. So instead, let's rotate it and make it out the front. Still keeping the mailbox up there. Still inconvenient in reality, but you know. Hey, I only go so far with reality. Uh, <laughs> there's a point... Okay, so talking about reality and building a tree house, a literal tree house, is probably a little bit ridiculous. But, you know, putting up for some reason, putting a, a, a mailbox on the back porch was the thing that went, hang on, we should flip this around. That's what clicked in my mind and made me flip it around. I don't know why. It, in retrospect, it doesn't make a slight bit of difference. It doesn't matter where you put the post box in the Sims 4. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. All right, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so uh, working out the layout now. So I wanted to keep a really open plan layout. And I mean really open plan. Like this, uh, the bedroom, we're doing a bedroom here. 
It's not even a bedroom. There's no doors on it. I just do sort of, I just do sort of partition walls like this. And then we just have sort of columns uh, leaving openings there. And I put some spandrels in, I believe. Or maybe I get rid of them. Do I leave them? Maybe I leave them. Uh, yeah, and I just put those, those sort of spandrels in there. Uh, I mean, you could very easily replace that little fence that I put in the spandrel with a wall and put a door in if you preferred. But I thought, you know, it's a treehouse. It's all about open plan living. I don't, again, I don't know why treehouse says open plan living to me, but it does. So that's just what it is. And I thought it looked kind of cool. So I, I rolled with it. <laughs> so I went with it. And we're getting a little dining area in here. We're getting two chairs. I think there's only two chairs. Uh, so, and there are, so there's, yeah, there's two bedrooms in this house. One up the top, one double bed. So you can have mom and dad or, or mom and mom or dad and dad or brother and sister. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Mm, no, I'm not going to go there. Uh, I mean, <laughs> my point is you can have two Sims in there. <laughs> Doesn't matter who they are, and uh, we're not going to get into those discussions. Uh, but yeah, no. So two seams up the top, and then one downstairs. I mean, you could of course probably fit more beds in. You could probably uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory it and get just get like loads of beds, or I don't know, I don't know. But here's the lower level. Uh, just build. I'm building the sort of balcony of it now, and I'm just replacing it with a fence so you can see it there. There you go. So it slots in just underneath the upper level, and it's it sort of it's it kind of hidden away. Uh, in a way, when we start putting all the trees in there, it's kind of hidden away. I mean, you can totally see it, but like, it's not, it's not immediately obvious that it's like it's a two level build and it's like a full, sort of full livable home. Uh, the original plan for this, before I started doing everything, I was like, I, I wanted to make a, a starter tree house. So, you know, like under whatever it is, like $20,000. I wanted to make it a starter home. And I, I very, very, very quickly realized before I even had started furnishing, my build was like already at the, the at the budget. I was like, oh, all right, well, okay, okay. Let's forget that idea. <laughs> Let's forget trying to make a start home. It ain't gonna work. Uh, so I'm just sort of putting trees around this place, trying to make it sort of fit into a forest. I wish you, I wish you could do world editing in this game, like, because then I would like edit the world around this lot and add in like loads of trees that was actually in a forest. That'd be cool. I mean, I guess this would probably fit nicely into like uh outdoor retreats world whatever that's called granite falls might fit in there nicely or even um no that's it i, I was gonna say new crest for some reason and this is a new crest i don't know why i was gonna say that no but it, it might feel very well in uh, into uh, granite falls uh maybe i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe but uh yeah so that's the uh, the downstairs bedroom or i guess the bed separation because i think yeah i just do archways so it's still open but you could put doors there if you wanted to. Um, so yeah. So uh, anyways, doing the living space up the top now, uh, which kind of proved to be a little bit of a challenge because it's kind of, it, it's not the, the fact of it being small because small is never the problem. I, lo I love sort of furnishing small spaces uh, like that are just kind of odd. It's a lot of fun, but it, the problem was it was just an awkward shape. <laughs> like it, the, the, the size of the shape is not the problem. It was just the, the layout of it. It was just really like the... Like you can see, um, cause the tree comes through there and I, I wanted to get, I was trying to get the TV on the tree cause I thought it'd be kind of cool. Uh, so I did that. Uh, but then there's like just the shape of the room, uh, behind the couches and all that just really, really awkward to sort of fit stuff in, but I did it. See like behind that, that sofa on the right there, uh, there's like a big gap and it didn't make sense for me to, to push the sofa against that back wall. Cause it was just so far over to the right then. So I was like, Oh, I don't know. Let's do a bookcase there. And and maybe a shoe rack and then like a coat rack or something like that. I think I did as well. Uh, whenever I found it, there it is. Uh, because it just didn't really fit otherwise. <laughs> it just didn't fit. So I was like, ah, oh, all right, we'll go with that. And uh, just getting some matching furniture in there. Well, like matching style. I don't know about colors, but it shall do. That sort of little chest one, that chest uh, coffee table thing was really cool. I really like that actually. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever used that before. Um, uh, not that I can remember anyways. I thought I'd dull down the kitchen a little bit so it, it didn't stick out so much. It was like really white compared to everything else. Because everything else in this house is a little bit more brown, a little bit more wooden, a little bit more handcrafted, hand, uh, handmade. It's all it's all loved. We got a little bit of love in it. Looking quite nice. Uh, getting little, some little rug underneath the, the table, which I got rid of <laughs> very promptly, as it turns out. And just some decorations here and there on the walls. And, um... I think we're pretty much done with the upstairs. Just little pots and pans. A uh, little oh, lighting, of course. Yeah, no, I think I think most of the uh, like objects up here are done though. Yeah, getting the lighting in here. You got to do lighting at nighttime because during the day, because this, this room is technically outdoors, because it, because the tree goes through the floor and the roof. There's actually uh, an open hole, 
uh, to the outside. So the lighting of the room is like simulated as outdoor lighting, as you can see there. Uh, so the uh, lights don't actually produce light during the day, which is interesting, except in the bathroom, because that is actually an enclosed room, as you can see, it's got like a door in it. Any enclosed room will have uh, indoor lighting, other ones will not. Uh, so just kidding out the bedroom now with all the necessities uh, that you need. And uh, there you go. So moving downstairs now to the the secondary bedroom, uh, where you'd have, I guess, a child or a teen or a brother or a mother or a grandmother or a grandfather or a cousin or a... Uh, what other relations could you... I mean, a friend. I didn't say friend. <laughs> you could have a roommate. Uh, you could have, you could have uh, an enemy. I don't know. I don't know why I've decided to label bedrooms today, but apparently I have. Uh, <laughs> Probably not the... I don't know. It, it has no relation to anything, really. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Some sporting equipment. And I got, like, that little... Um, sort of little map thing. Little explorer's map that I thought was kind of cool. So, so, yeah, down here... So, upstairs is, like, the living room. Downstairs, is, I thought, we'd make, like, this sort of workspace. So, there's, like, the computer. And I think I do... I think I do a chess table as well. And uh, an easel to do some painting. So, it's kind of like the skill building area. Um, you can come down here and do a little bit of work. All that kind of stuff. Upstairs is entertainment. Uh, in more ways than one, if you know what I mean. Because uh, it's got the TV, of course, and the kitchen. Uh, trying to find a chair that matched. Uh, one did not exist. So I had to uh, change the chess table. And uh, match still, surprisingly, did not exist. Um, <laughs> it got really annoying, as you can see here. Just flicking through all these chairs. Wondering why on earth there is no matching chair. In the end, I thought, hey, let's just give it a funky color. Uh, kind of matches the desk, and let's just give it white chairs. Looks good enough in the end. Uh, that'll do me. That'll do me just fine. I was going to do a uh, workout equipment, but I was like, eh, it's probably a little too big for the space. <laughs> probably a little bit too big. Uh, so I just did like an easel and a little bookcase next to it. And a little seating area to sort of read the books, of course. Um, yeah, a little bit of reading down here. Uh, quite, It's quite a nice little space, quite cozy. Uh, it's all good. I wish there were just windows that didn't have glass in them, though. Like, I wish you could just make a hole in the wall. That would be more appropriate for a treehouse. So, just going downstairs now. I was originally just going to do, you know, just do a little dirt path and a little dirt underneath to make it look a little bit more sort of worn in, because it's in the shade all the time. But I was like, hang on, I've got this really cool little oasis space underneath. Uh, not oasis, but like a little covered in area underneath. Let's make like a, let's make a pool. It's like an awesome pool in here. I mean, it's not a big pool, but it's a pool nonetheless. Like, there it is. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool pool, if I do say myself, because I'm a mule. I'm not a mule, but it rhymed with pool and cool. And I wanted to keep the rhymes going. Yeah, no, I thought I'd get that in there. And you could also add... I don't think I added it because I was like, eh, I, don't, I, won't, I won't chuck that in. But if you have uh, like a perfect patio stuff, you could add in like a hot tub down here as well. So that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I thought it was kind of a cool hangout space down the bottom here. Just sort of uh, around the... Well, underneath the house. In this little sort of open dirt area. Just doing some uh, a nice little patio flooring down there. Not really a patio, but a little... Uh, I don't know. What have you? Oh, maybe it was a patio. I guess you'd call that a patio. Uh, a little barbecue as well. Uh, just make sure the flames don't get too high. Otherwise, you may end up burning down your house, uh, which is made out all of wood. Getting some of these little outdoor lights to give it a nice little ambiance. Or ambience, if you prefer to say it like that, not ambiance. I don't know why I said it like that. But I guess you could say it like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So we're about to jump into the screenshots now so you get a closer look. Uh, here is the front of the treehouse. You can see down the bottom there where the pool is up the stairs to the second floor and the top floor just here. Uh, there's the bin out the front. That little angle. I think we're just going to zip around the outside so you can see it. It's got a little bit more hidden from the back and the sides. The front is obviously the most uh, visible, but you should get a pretty nice view out of the, uh, the, the top level windows because there's not a lot of trees blocking those, which is quite good. Uh, so I think we're going to... Yes, we've got a nice shot of. Uh, I wish you could. I still wish you could paint ceilings in The Sims 4. It would make like like that white just above there as well. Like it would make it look so much better if I could paint the, like the wood to match it. Uh, but anyways, here is the living space with the kitchen and the dining uh, area just there on the right. You can see the TV there and the dining area and through to the bedroom. Nice open plan. There's the entrance on the right with the living area on the left and a nice big rug and another little angle of this here. Uh, you can see the door to the bathroom just in front of us, right in the middle. Here is the bedroom looking out uh, through the looking glass. And uh, here's the downstairs skill building area. I don't think I took a screenshot of the bathroom, actually. 
Maybe I did. Uh, yeah, this is the downstairs area. Of course, you can download this on the gallery. You can click the link in the description down below to download, or you can search hashtag the sim supply, or search for my origin ID, which is also the sim supply. Uh, but here are the floor plan screenshots of the build. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to download it if you like it. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.